Welcome to the very first episode of My Random Junk. This is, well, currently in really no budget show that about me talking about my random junk. Uh, mainly about Star Wars. And I like to talk about the Star Wars stuff that most people don't talk about. You know, some of the random junk that's got the Star Wars logo or brand on it that, well, I enjoy purchasing, but also stuff that people like to talk about, you know, the action figures, um, you know, play sets, different things, and anything else that I like to collect, because I'm a collector. So, first thing I want to say is, one, please don't mind the low quality of the video. Um, you know, it's just a random thing I like to put together, just for fun, and, you know, it's like this here, you know? These right here, these aren't real glasses. It's just me, which I'm going to promote now. Black Nerd Comedy, check it out. My nerdy glasses, which are fake. Uh, it's really because I like the way I look at them. Other YouTube YouTubers I like to promote for their channels is Cinemassacre, uh, Angry Review Game Nerd, James and Mike Mondays. If you haven't heard of them, I say check them out. If you like video games, and especially games growing up, if they pissed you off for like Nintendo, Sega, any of those games, dude, this dude is he is awesome watching him. He's talented. He even released the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. Uh, and Rosanna for Nerdy Nummies. If you like cooking shows about nerdy items, she's done Star Wars ones before. Uh, she's done challenges, which I always enjoy watching her do. So, um, here is her cookbook. And her cookbook will tell you kind of how to make um, non, or oh, sorry, generic nerdy items. So, if you want to go to a party and you want to know how to make certain things, this is actually a really great book. And she's really talented when she comes to making her stuff. I recommend picking this up. You can pick up a Target, actually, if you don't want to order it online. Uh, Amazon sells it is where I got my copy, but she, great, you know, just like Cinemasker, we're checking out, and Black Nerd Comedy, which I'm stealing this bit from, he actually has glasses, minor fake, so, mm -hmm. so anyways, to start off some of my stuff, I want to show you some of my random old Star Wars stuff, first item is a Star Wars board game, from 1977, Got this for Christmas a couple years ago. Okay, little stuff will happen. I'm going to be too lazy. I'll pick that up underneath the table. Here. Check this out. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I never actually played the game, so I can't tell you how it's played. But that's the board game. That's the board. Comes with a spinner or spinnerette I'm not sure what people call it uh, featuring R2 you got your cards like you would change for Monopoly your rules which if I read it prior to this video I could probably told you how you play it but uh, like I said earlier it's just too lazy and your characters so you get four colors of the same characters there's plenty of characters in Star Wars, especially in the first movie they could have chosen. But instead, they decided to go with Luke and Leia and Han and Chewie and just repeat them through the colors. Uh, you know, I uh, kind of wish they kind of did a little bit more, but they didn't. But, you know, it was 1977. It's still pretty cool. I don't know if it's a fun game. If someone else has... You know, pre, you know, feel free to leave a comment and say, hey, play that game, it sucks, it's boring, uh, or it's awesome. Yeah. Next item is Pop. Star Wars Pop. I collect a bunch of different Star Wars Pops, and I actually enjoy collecting non-Star Wars Pops. The... Here is an exclusive Ray for Walgreens. Um, short story, I had to call Walgreens pretty much every week, different Walgreens, for over a month. They eventually caught on to the fact that I was the person calling them and they're like, you really want this figure? And I'm like, yeah, I do. 
I, you know, especially if it's exclusive, I want to collect it. So this is the Walgreens, Walgreens exclusive. It's out now. Uh, in most Walgreens, some might not have it, but I would say search for it. Uh, also, I don't normally open my Star Wars stuff. Usually, box it up, collect it, and eventually it will display it all. But this is a duplicate. I have two of these, so I'm I'm gonna feel okay about opening this. And another promotion. Uh, if you like collecting pops, Smuggler's Bounty, Star Wars, I would really recommend it. It's 25 bucks every two months. The stuff in it is worth more than that. If you want to get that pop figure that's inside the Smuggler's Bounty, you're going to pay more for that online. So, 25 bucks, you get it shipped to your house in a cool little box with other stuff. It's worth it. So here, we got Ray. Originally, it was titled the uh, Resistance Outfit, but now known as the Jedi Temple Pop. Ray, bobblehead. He was here showing off, handing off the lightsaber at the end of Force Awakens. And she's handing it to Luke. It's kind of neat, you know. The last one that came out for Rey had a lightsaber or a helmet based on, you know, was once again exclusive. That was Game GameStop. But if you like pops, you like Star Wars, worth picking this up. Check Walgreens. It's like ten bucks. And lastly, a newer item that kind of balance the old and the new is this. I ordered this sucker back earlier on this year and it finally got shipped to me about a month ago. You know, I was actually pretty excited to see how this works. You know, the head moves, it's got the give it a thumbs up flame. Has a stand. I don't know if you can see it or not on here. I don't know. But it's also electronic. It's pretty cool. Uh, I paid 50 bucks on Amazon for that. So if you were a fan of BB 8 or more of the giant figures, as you can see based on my buddy here, it's worth picking up 50 bucks. Um, I haven't seen it in any stores yet. So Amazon, great place to look. Uh, thank you guys very much for checking out this video. Uh, this is my first one, so if I did a horrible job, I'm sorry. I'll eventually, hopefully, try to do better. Uh, if you guys liked it, um, then I'm looking forward to doing more, showing off more of my random crap that I own. So thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to this channel because um, I'm assuming that's what you do. Uh, also, feel free to follow me on Twitter. At the end of this video, I'll we'll give you my Twitter handle. And thank you once again. I hope that you guys will watch more of my videos as I make them. Thank you very much.